Skelton Show 0913, Jack Wild. Christmas, the spirit is now in the air. You can start feeling it moving around, you know. 
Now, for, for, as a matter of fact, my uncle got arrested last week for doing his Christmas shopping too early. <laughs> they caught him in the store before it was open. <laughs> Have you seen some of the things they've already got on display? The dolls. They've got new dolls this year for little girls. Think. Wonderful. They have one doll called the Dean Martin. You wind it up and it falls down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's fun to watch fathers around uh, this time of the year when they're going to buy toys and stuff for the kids. One guy walked up to the clerk and he says, give me a model airplane, a pogo stick, and an electric train set. And the clerk says, fine. Anything else? He says, yeah, not something for the kid. <laughs> You know, and it's fun now to see Santa Claus is popping up already. They, I played Santa Claus at a Hollywood party, and it was kind of fascinating. Zsa Zsa Gabor sat on my knee, and she asked for a mink coat. See? Elizabeth Taylor sat on my knee, and she asked for a diamond bracelet. <laughs> Kate Smith sat on my knee, and I asked for something. <laughs> a doctor. <laughs> I tell you, no, but I love Christmas time. That's the time when people get together and they celebrate the real, true, honest, genuine uh, values of life around a pink tree. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can't get a, a, a color, a, a green tree out here in California? No kidding. They're, they're purple, yellow, orange, pink, white. <laughs> I'm going to have a green tree this year. We're buying a white one and spraying it. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, I had a tree. I had a tree. This thing was so puny that I threw the tinsel at it and it ducked. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, they've got these guys on these uh, uh, Christmas tree lots out here. They sell you anything. This one guy says to me, he says, uh, would you like to buy a tree that's already decorated? And I says, where is it? He says, it's over there. I says, that's an orange tree. <laughs> He says, I thought them bulbs were a little juicy. <laughs> but you know it's fun to walk down the street at this time of the year and see the Santa Claus helpers all standing around ringing bells. They have them everywhere except on Sunset Strip. <laughs> they got enough ding a down there. <laughs> But you know there's something about Christmas that brings out the spirit of cooperation in people. Now, last year, somebody gave me 12 jars of mustard, and Richard Burton helped me cut it. <laughs> hey, personally, you know, I don't worry about Christmas presents, especially for my wife, you know. Let's face it, I'm going to give her money. I'm going to give her money this year. <laughs> it's the only thing that hadn't gone up in price. <laughs> Some fellas have trouble finding things for their wives at Christmas time. Not me, not me. I, I, I figure if my wife likes me, she'll like anything. <laughs> I walked up to this one fella and I said, um, oh, I was in a department store the other day. I tell you what happened. Guy walks up to the clerk and he says, I'd like to get something for my wife. And the clerk says, would you like to see something in a black negligee? He says, yeah, but I'd like to get the present first. <laughs> Talking about strange gifts people want. You know, my, my wife's father, uh, uh, Mac, Mac Davis is his name, and he's about 70 years old. You know what he wants for Christmas? A surfboard. <laughs> I can just see him now. He's going to look like a wishbone standing on a platter. <laughs> <laughs> Got a joke for you. Two seagulls, Gertrude and Heathcliff. And uh, she says, uh, Heathcliff, did you know that Harold the Hummingbird does this about 600 times a minute? He said, you got to be putting me on. <laughs> you mean the hummingbird does this 600 times a minute? For heaven's sake, wouldn't it be cheaper just to buy deodorant? <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you ever noticed around Christmas time, uh, the spirit of Christmas hits people? Now, a lot of you say, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to join in with it this year. I'm going to take it. But around the last minute, everybody gets into that spirit. So I'd like to do a little pantomime of a fellow who's all alone. And uh, he's, he's decided he's not going to have Christmas. But all of a sudden, the spirit hits him. And he has this thing here.
take you now to London, England for a drama entitled The Son of Oliver Twist or Junior is Just a Little Dickens. <laughs> Red Skelton plays the title role of Oliver Twist Junior and as Red's guest star in the role he plays in the award-winning motion picture Oliver, we have Jack Wilde as the Artful Dodger and a special guest appearance as Mr. Rumble by Cyril Richard. away from this awful place. Uh, but you'd have to hide in a dirty old sewer with rats and bats and snakes and spiders. Uh, I wouldn't mind. I've been to Pasadena, you know. <laughs> Aha! As you were, you little clots. Aha! Some little rat Gallion didn't make his bed, and who would that be? Oliver Twist Jr., sir. I knew it was Twist. Where is he? Here he comes now, Mr. Rumble. get any letters from home. <laughs> All right, you three, and keep it that way. Report to the garbage detail. Yes, sir. Uh, what are we supposed to do with the garbage? What we do with it every day. We eat it. <laughs> Just for that, go back to bed without any garbage. Oh, hey, uh, around here, that's a reward, huh? <laughs> Another thing, Twist. Yeah. What have you got to say about that? I don't know. Have you ever tried growing mushrooms under it? <laughs> Enough dirt there for it. Never thought of mushrooms. Yes. Get out of here! <laughs> it's heavier every time we do it, did you know it? <laughs> Why did you not make up your bed? Because the springs are loose. It's got loose springs in there. Look at that. Loose Look springs. At that. Copy, <laughs> Stand back. We, we may have the first bed bugs that are going to the moon, you know. <laughs> Now we've done it. Where am I going to go Betty by tonight? Come here. What you got in mind? Twisty. What you want? If I'm lucky, you might be sleeping somewhere else. What do you mean? There's a lady here to adopt a little boy. Oh. Hold it! And I recommended you. Me? Oh, you love me after all, don't That's you? Enough. You love me. Keep away from me. me. This is no time for sentiment. Well, if it is sentiment, it's puppy love because you treat me like a dog, I tell you. <laughs> I'm only recommending you for adoption because this institution will be much better without you. Oh, did you hear that? They're critiquing me. Anything for the old outer major, fellas. Ro, 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 slop, slop, slop. Dinner, dinner. <laughs> when you meet the lady, you behave yourself or I'll throw you into the furnace. Oh. How would you like that? Medium rare. <laughs> Someone is tinkling. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Prentice Smythe, well, right here, please. Oh, you dear, dear boy. You're so adorable and cuddlesome and cutesy. Oh, how sweet of you. But this is the cuddlesome boy, the angel of the Institute, what Master you? Oliver Twist, Jr. The Black Hills of North Dakota. <laughs> Well, yes, you are a dear, dear child, too, and uh, cuddlesome and cutesy. Yeah, at least I get thinking about it. Raw, raw, raw. Dinner, dinner. <laughs> I'm just a lonely widow, Junior. Yes. Would you like to be the little man in my home? Well, that depends if you got any little women around. <laughs> He's a witty little chap, isn't he? 
Well, how old are you, Junior? I'm nine and a half. You're only going on ten. Ten? Is that what comes next? I don't know. They don't tell us nothing around here, do they, fellas? No. Well, how did you get to be so tall? Well, playing tug of war with the other kids. Tug of war? Yeah, you see, they use me for the rope. <laughs> Amusing little tyke, isn't he? Well, you like to play games, do you? Oh, yes, we play games all the time. We, last night we played push in the corner. Some guy hit me in a push and I laid in the corner for four hours. <laughs> do you play cricket? Cricket? Yeah, I play cricket. Watch this. I see. Do you know any other games? Yes, old Smokey the Bear. I know a lot of them. Yeah. Well, last night we played uh, we played jacks and I won. Oh, you won? Yeah, I, I had queens. <laughs> Card game? No, no, no. He's jesting, madam. We only play children's games. In fact, Junior and I play many games together. We do? Of course we do. Oh, goody. Well, then let's play house. You be the door and I'll slam you. Okay. I, 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 I tell you what, be Big Ben. Big and, Ben? Uh, you be the bell and I'll ring you twice. The owl. The owl. I, 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 two o'clock and all twelve. That isn't very nice. Well, here, you take a crack at him then. Why don't you try for twelve o'clock high? Go ahead. Go ahead. Mr. Rumble, I think I've changed my mind about adoption. No, but Mrs. Prentice Smythe, all this boy needs is a little discipline. Yes. All he needs is the guillotine. <laughs> well, there goes a generation gap. <laughs> you miserable elf! Look here, there, you just lost some of your authority. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> you, you blotted your copybook. I did? You've missed your chance. Oh. The only way that you'll ever get out of this place is to escape, and no one has done it yet. Come with me, you miserable tots, at the double. Come on! Ah! <laughs> Woo-hoo! Well, them tight shoes are murder. Escape. He's just planted a seed in my widow brain now. I'll escape someday, and I'll be adopted by somebody real nice. And the odds are with me, because I have read the book. <laughs> I read in a book once that if you say, open sesame, it would open. Open sesame, open sesame. It worked, it worked, it worked. Just call me sesame. <laughs> Kids say the darndest things, but they've got the right idea. I'm Art Linkletter, and we asked some experts what would you like to give your mommy for Christmas? Um, the camera. What kind of camera? Kodak. Why? Because it's Kodak and it's a good camera. Now, who would you take pictures of? Uh, a girl <laughs> in a bikini. Why do people take pictures? You take a picture of somebody when they're a little kid, right? And then when they grow up, Look at yourself and you know what you look like when you're a big kid. Kodak Instamatic cameras are priced from less than $10, and they're a great gift. Jeff, if you got one, what's the first thing you'd do? Take a picture of my other presents. <laughs> Here we are on a street in London some three weeks after Mr. Rumble helped Oliver Twist Jr. escape from the orphanage. And little Jr. is about to meet a young boy who will help shape his career. That crafty pickpocket, the artful dodger, Jack Wilde. With marble on the counter and a big old store. My Uncle Henry's very famous down the high street, so let me tell you what he's very famous for. He found one day that customers was getting thin. They'd pass his fish and chip shop and they'd not go in. So Uncle stepped outside, threw back his head and cried in a voice as loud as she. Thank you. Oh, I had the cock card or spats or eight, fell it in Dover's soul. Kippers a scampy place to skate, mackerel by 
I ran away from the orphanage. No kidding? Yes. How come the bloodhounds didn't find you? I'm anemic. <laughs> listen, I don't want to know about your religion. Now listen, I've got an idea. How would you like to join our gang and have a nice warm place to sleep? Oh boy, it would be better sleeping in that sewer, I'll tell you that. Okay. Now, did you ever pick a pocket? I picked this suit. You ain't got much taste, have you? <laughs> no. No, you don't like L- it. no, listen, you don't understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about dipping into some bloke's pocket and removing the contents. Reaching in the pocket and taking things? Yep. Well, wouldn't you call that stealing? No! It's taking things for safekeeping before the thieves get them. Watch. Oh. I'll show you how it's done. Ah, um, pardon me, Governor. Could you direct me to Savile Row? I must see my tailor. Your tailor? Ha! Tailor, indeed. What a smashing outfit you're wearing, sir. And those trousers, perfect fit. Oh, be gone, young scamp. Well, well, the jolly finger work, wouldn't you say, Watson? <laughs> let's, see. let's let's see how we did. Yeah, there's a note in there. There's a note in there. Read it. Then. Yeah, there it is. It says you have picked the wrong pocket, you young scamp. Well, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Listen, why don't you have a go at it? I'll have a go at it. What do I got to do now? Just cover up your actions. Cover up the actions. Dip into the pants pocket with a light touch. With a light touch, we dip into the pants pocket. I'll grab the next one that comes by. <laughs> Perchance you could tell me where the pockets might be. <laughs> Here comes the likely looking customer. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get him. I'll try him. I'll try him. Ah, <clears throat> uh, pardon me, sir, but could you direct me to Dilly Pickle Square? I'm afraid you've got that backwards. <laughs> it's uh, Piccadilly, not Dilly Pickle. Oh, no, well, what's the difference? A pickle is the same on both ends. As a matter of fact, you turn a pickle inside out and you got a cucumber with dimples. <laughs> All right, what have we here? Oh, I'll tell you what we have here. You see, it was kind of crowded around here, and a nice man offered me his seat, so I took it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, Junior, you've got to do better than that. Remember, the hand has got to be quicker than the pocket. Quicker? Right, let, try, let me try it again. Oh, let me try it better here. Let me try it better here. No, 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 no. Fine, 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 fine. Little touchy work, but it could. <laughs> you goony bird, you're picking your own pocket. Well, I thought it was kind of empty back there. No, I'm getting sneakier, though. I didn't even suspect myself. You know what I think? What? I think it's back to the sewer for you. Oh, no, give me another chance. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I will give you another chance. Now, watch the old master. Don't you think they ought to call them up and tell them they've buried an empty box? <laughs> Blimey, me, I picked his pocket a couple of weeks ago. Really? This is what we do in a case like this. Oh, watch. in front, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you show me what you do now. If you pick the pocket, it is for... Shh. Now, when you call him up and tell him about him, you can put that joke in with it. <laughs> hmm? Okay. <laughs> Let me try again, though, will you? Huh? Well, okay. Let me try oh. again. Let me try again. Oh, here comes one. Oh. <sighs> Dude, I beg your pardon, sir, but do you save stamps? Stamps? Yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Well, good. Here's a couple for your collection. There's one. Oh, 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 oh. Get away from me, you scum! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Oh. Junior, I guess you're never going to learn. What do you mean I'm not going to learn? Look at that, boy. Look at that. And that's nothing. Look, I got his pipe. I got his pipe. And there's his watch. Look. And I got his ring. Amazing. And here is a piece of resistance. Look at this, boy, what I got. Look. <laughs> from the go. <laughs> Listen, Wait. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> to teach me that one. No, I'm, I'm going to go and tell Fagin that we've got a new recruit. Good. Now wait for me here. Yeah. You're heading for a lovely life of Crime. A robbery life of crime. A huh? lovely life of crime. Good, I'm with you. I'm with you. Can't resist a pocket. <laughs> ah! Oh, blimey, I've got my finger smashed in a mouse trap. What a lucky break. Lucky? It is for a pickpocket. Now I can collect my workers' pension. <laughs> 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 parade again. Why did you run away from the orphanage? I've been looking for you all over London and at last I've found you. You mean I was lost? <laughs> yes. And I've changed my mind about adopting you. Really? Mm. Oh, you have saved me from a robbery life of crime. And I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Yes. Since I last saw you, I got married again. Oh, I want good you thinking. to meet your new daddy. My new daddy. Woo! I got a new daddy. I got a new <laughs> daddy. You heard her, son. Well, that was a quick adoption, wasn't it, huh? Hey, Fagin, Dodger, a rubbery wife of crime is waiting for me. Yeah, I don't <laughs> Never mind, never mind, my dear. We'll adopt a pretty pet poodle and we'll call him Oliver. <laughs> and now the silent spot. Red Skelton in the magic of Christmas.
Red will be back in a minute. Here he is again, Red Skelton. I would like to thank our sponsors and staff, and especially you ladies and gentlemen, for allowing me to be a part of your evening. So until next week, I'll say good health, good life, and Merry Christmas, though it is early. And may God bless. Good night. Here's the Norelco Santa with some new ways to say Merry Christmas. Give the Norelco triple header with a cord or in a rechargeable model. Give the inexpensive Flip Top 20 or the new battery cordless. And say Merry Christmas to the ladies with a Lady Norelco shaver or beauty salon. Norelco, even our name says Merry Christmas. Get your hat and your coat, cause we have to go as we do all through the year. After that, make a note, there will be a show every Tuesday night right here. Next week, a Christmas special with guest star Howard Keel. So goodbye until the moment when we'll see you all again. Toys provided by Mattel. This is Art Gilmore speaking. No matter how you celebrate the holiday season, there's always room for Christmas seals on your holiday mail and gifts. Not only do they add that extra touch to your cards and packages, but they fight such killers and cripplers as emphysema, tuberculosis, and air pollution. And they carry on this fight for all of us 365 days of the year. Please use them generously and answer your Christmas seal letter with an open heart. Truly, they're a matter of life and breath.